Welcome to the Dungeon Coach. I'm the Dungeon Coach. I'm going to help lower that DC in your game by showing you how to do some cool character voices. Dungeon Coach, I want to play a game. You say you can help people with their voices, but it's time to put your voice to the test. You must do 40 voices in under four minutes, or your YouTube channel will be deleted. They gotta be good too, you know, nothing crappy. Clock's ticking. Okay, here we go. Hey, Peter, I think this one's good. Okay, fine, but can he do the fat man? Yeah, <laughs> Peter Griffin. <laughs> Peter Griffin. Hey, Peter Gr No. Ooh, no, that one sucked. Do something better. Well, sure then, little boy. I can do this one. What if you did the mushly on paper, boy? That'd be nice. I don't know if I can do Chris Griffin. I've never done him before. No, that was a good one. I don't know if I should count this one because it sounds like Mort instead. Ma, mummy, ma, ma, mummy, ma, 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 mummy, ma, 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 ma. Ah, go, 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 you got papa here. I strong to the finish because I eat my spinach. But if you lose the accent and get real boring, you sound like Roz from Monsters Incorporated. Wazowski. But if you're not quite so boring and you get a little happy, you sound like SpongeBob. <laughs> that was cool how you did that. <laughs> no, that was too easy. It doesn't count. Okay, listen here. These next impressions, okay? They're gonna be huge. Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here. I also brought Miss Piggy. I hate talking like this voice. But Elmo loves her voice. And I love playing games. But if I take Kermit and get deeper and dumber, then you sound like Bullwinkle, the cartoon Mooth character. If you talk like Elmo and lower your voice down, then it sounds like Stitch. Or Hannah means family. It's just not as high pitch in the north. But if you keep getting darker, then you have Smeagol, my precious. Master Trixus, the fat hobbit knows. <laughs> Whew, that got dark real fast. That same type of voice can also get you. Misa called Jar Jar Binks. Misa thinks everyone loves Jar Jar. No, stop. I'm going to kill this one now. How rude. I also just realized that Stitch and Jar Jar are pretty much the same voice. Jar Jar Binks, Stitch. I said stop. Wow. Lucy. Hello. Yeah. What? Whoa! Here we go! And then there's Arnold. I'll be back. Impressions you must do. And now I'm back. <laughs> like, hey, Scoob. Reggie? <laughs> huh? Oh, boy. And if I lower my voice down, then it sounds a lot like this voice right here. Wait a second now. That's real creepy. Huh? <laughs> but if you take this voice and get real sad, then you sound like the gingerbread man. You're a monster. Not my gumdrop buttons! And then I'm really working on Christopher Walken. <laughs> that one sucked. <laughs> and then there's Sid the Sloth, who will also have a speech impediment. But if I get real sad and insecure, now I'm back to Mort from Family Guy. <laughs> Dobby loves Master and doesn't want him to die. And some of these voices you could use for villains. Mr. Papa, this voice makes me have a very weird face. Over the top villain. Joy in the dark side of the force. Let the hate flow through you. Do it. Do it. Do it, Nike. Just do it. Let me see. Swear to me. And then there's this one, Batman. Let's have some fun. <laughs> I was born in the darkness, molded by it. I have a cup in my hand. Or a more subtle villain. Sansa, I loved your mother, but I love you more. If you want to sound smart, you could sound like Vargas. Jon Snow, King of the North. And then there's Sean Connery. Just a little whisper in there. We'll make it work. This one may or may not be good enough, but he's my favorite villain of all time. So here we go. Your planet was on the brink of collapse. I am the one who stopped that. The children born will know nothing but full bellies and clear skies. The hardest choices require the strongest wills. It's time to make the world a better place. Wow. Now it's time for you to play a game. No, like you, the one watching. You've made it this far in the video, but you haven't subscribed. You watch videos on YouTube all the time, but you never click anything. Well, now the dungeon coach needs your help. You have 30 seconds to like and share this video with everyone you know. And yes, subscribe too, that'd be cool. But if you don't, I'll delete his entire YouTube channel. Clock's ticking. You have 30 seconds 
So real quick, this video is different than any video I normally do on this channel. I really want to do a follow-up video where I could teach you guys how to do some of these voices. They don't have to be over the top like these, but I'll show you how to do it. And a big thank you, as usual, to my supporters over on Patreon. Y'all are what make a lot of this possible, including the new cool light. And thank you to the new sponsor of this channel, NeverEnding. And if you didn't notice, they're the ones that made that sweet new logo. They're a brand new amateur animation platform. If you want to go check them out, a link to all their stuff will be down in the description. So until next time, stay creative. Think outside the box. I don't love boxes. So until next time, stay creative. Think outside the box.